This performance is called Notes on Fun. In my Theories of the Body class, we were talking about fun. Is research and academic work ever fun? We had read a text by Karim Kupchandani about his research in queer dance in India. I made this performance as a response. First, I passed around the program notes. Then I asked everyone, what is your ambience? I asked them to write down one word that describes their ambience on the back of a paper. Then I played the video. I asked everyone to walk around the room for a minute, walking their ambience, saying their word. I asked people to pick up the walk word of other people. Program notes on fun. I can remember some moments of pleasure during my academic career, but few moments of fun. Where do I have fun? Playing with my toddler is the most fun I have had, I have had in a while, but I have to remember how to do it. For a baby, fun is mimicry. Why is everything so fun for a child? During this time in another class, I was also reading an essay by Johannes Gorenson about mimicry. He says, mimicry gives us a model of transgression that brings the body into the act of translation, not as something that needs to be repressed or contained, but as a site of vulnerability. Though Benjamin points out that mimicry is most evident in children's play, he argues that in European modernity, people lost the capacity of producing similarities, turning an originally sensuous approach into non-sensuous correspondences. In mimicry, emphasis is on play, onomatopoeia and the body, Benjamin finds something running counter to modern capitalism and its abstracted language, which has liquidated magic. From his emphasis on the surface and the sensuous, that is, the bodily aspect of the mimicry, we can begin to think about translation with its emphasis on the spirit as an alternative, as an alternative to the non-sensuous model of correspondence and equivalence. We can begin to consider a model that doesn't seek to contain, rather includes the body and its transformations. Some questions I had about this quote and my thinking about pleasure and fun. What's the difference between fun and making fun? Pleasure can be something trained. Can fun also be trained? Who gets to have fun in this world? Who has access to fun? Is fun mostly a space for the rich and privileged? Why do most types of fun seem almost transgressive and undisciplined? Can writing something be fun? Does mimicry feel like something less than? Why do they call the degree a master of? Can I really master anything? Why is mimicry not valued, but mastery is? Say your word, a fling, a fling, a fling, a fling. A fling. Welcoming a fling. Chaotic. Chaotic. Chaotic.
welcoming. Social butterfly. Oh, welcoming. Calm, aflame. Chaotic. Social butterfly. Social butterfly. Social butterfly. A flame social butterfly chaotic. <laughs>